In this video, I am going to address a strange warning in Google Play Console related to Play Services Safety Net Library. This warning I started receiving recently only when I was updating my Android app in the Play Console. And also, this particular safety net library is not used anywhere in my Android app. So let's see what is triggering this warning and how to avoid this in Google Play Console. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. The warning says the safety net attestation API is being discontinued and replaced by the new Play Integrity API. Begin migration as soon as possible to avoid user disruption. So first let's see where are we using this library. Go to project in Android Studio, open modules build.gradle file. Here I am using Play Services library version 12.0.1 which is mentioned in the warning. But where is the safety net library? Go to project view and expand the external libraries. These are the libraries my app is using either directly or indirectly. If I go down, see there are so many libraries added to my project from GMS Play Services package, wherein the safety net library is also included. And definitely most of them are not used from my app directly. But if your app is using this particular safety net library, it is better that you migrate it to Play Integrity API because the safety net attestation is discontinued. You have a deadline June 2023 to migrate to Play Integrity API. Okay, but what about the apps those are not using the safety net library? Why are we getting this warning while upgrading the app in Play Console? Because we are using this bundled Play Services library version, all the libraries are automatically added to the project. So there is a warning in Android Studio to avoid using bundled version of Google Play Services. When you go to the Play Services uh, documentation also, you can see there is a huge list of Google Play Services dependencies. So it is always better to include only those SDKs which your app is implementing instead of whole bundle of Play Services library. So let's go to our project, check where are we using this GMS library. See in my project I am using this only for ads. So let me include only ads SDK instead of whole bundle and sync project. Oh, see here, the list of dependency libraries are reduced. So only those many libraries are used in my project which are internally used by my ads library. And also safety net library got removed from this list. Now build the project. Okay, there is an error because I have changed my dependency from GMS Play Services bundle to GMS Ads library. Let me resolve this. It is some override function issue, changing the function implementation. But you may be getting different errors based on your implementation library. So solve them and test the app before publishing. So here I have fixed my error and building the project once again. Okay, there are no errors. Now generate signed bundle. AIB file got generated. Okay, now go to play console, discard release and try to create new release. Drop the AIB file and review release. See there is no warning now related to safety net library. Okay, if you are using Firebase Authentication API in your project and you are getting this warning, this message is for you because the safety net SDK is used by Firebase Auth library for app verification. In this case, you cannot do anything. Google Firebase team is working on migration path to the Play Integrity API, which you can expect it before safety net deprecation deadline. So you need not worry about that. Meanwhile, you can still upgrade your app in Play Console and the warning can be disregarded. So always please check the libraries included in your project and implement only the necessary SDKs which your app is dependent on and avoid unnecessary library implementation. Hope this video could help you resolve this warning at your end. If you think this video was helpful, please post it in comment section and subscribe to Ireka Tech Solutions for more videos. Thank you.